you know his name's not Jesus, right? If you go back to where Jesus was walking the earth and you walked around and said, where's Jesus? Nobody would know who the fuck you're talking about. If you start looking deep into the scriptures, man, one of them says, my children will know my name. Well, his name ain't Jesus. No, the scripture says, seek and ye shall find. It's your boy, Layback. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024 elevate more in 2024 but we back with another creepy scary tiktok reaction man hey make sure you hit that like button hey and if you make it to the end of this one i need you to drop real one for real and i've been seeing some of the comments a lot of y'all making it to the end and y'all been dropping gems along the way so we're gonna watch this we're gonna break this down Shout out to everybody that's been supporting, man. Make sure you share this with somebody, you know what I mean, that's into these conspiracy theory, you know. Let's see what we got tonight, though. <sighs> this stuff will be making me think. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. Hey, and what's going on? Quick question. Pop. Can we start acknowledging that slavery never really existed and begin calling it what it was? Mm -hmm. Surprise war. One. You don't castrate slaves. Why? Because they can't make you more slaves. Two, you don't separate slaves from their... Hold on. He said slavery never existed. Like it never happened. Like not just here, but nowhere in the world. That's a stretch, bro. Come on now. Let's let's hear what he's talking about, though. Families, because now they have no loyalty to you or any reason to remain working for you. Three, do you know who you do castrate and separate from their families? Prisoners of war. Okay. In 1492, Christopher Columbus didn't discover anything. He was doing reconnaissance for Spanish, the Portuguese, and the Roman Catholic Church, specifically Pope Alexander VI. Once Christopher Columbus's reconnaissance was complete, Pope Alexander VI declared the papal bull intercaetera, which means among other works. The intercaetera, or the papal bull in 1493, gave the Portuguese and the Spanish the right to exterminate the aboriginal peoples of the Americas because they were considered savages because they were not Christian faith. Mm. This is the doctrine of discovery. See, it says the papal bull intercaetera, or among other works, issued by Pope Alexander VI, we'll get back to him in a second, on May 4th, 1493, played a central role in the Spanish conquest of the New World, not discovery, but watch this. Mm. The document supported Spain's strategy to ensure its exclusive rights to the land discovered by Columbus the previous year. Make sure you do your own research. Let me make sure I put that out there. You know what I mean? Make sure you do your own research. I'm just saying, don't take this, take it with a grain of salt, but make sure if you, any of this stuff trigger your mind and trigger your uh, curiosity, make sure you go do your own research too. Here, first of all, Columbus did not discover America. Cristobal Colon is a Cullen who is one of the one percenters of the world. When you realize that Christopher Columbus's real name is not Christopher Columbus, but Cristobal Colon, a.k.a. Cristoforo Cullen, that is the point in history when you realize the Cullen family and the Colon family are the same family. On mm. one hand, the Colon family is a prominent family that everything Colombian is named after, even the District of Columbia that owns the land deed to the corporation that is the United States of America. Mm. But on the other hand... Changing their names as to not be detected throughout history, as is their modus operandi, the Cullen family has now become the Collins bloodline of the 13 families. Each one of these families has a position or purpose inside of their organization. The Cullen family is only called when there is a mass culling necessary. What is a culling, you ask? Yes. The reduction of a wild animal or barbarous nation population by selective slaughter. Mm. Selective slaughter. Hmm. So knowing this, why would Pope Alexander the Sixth, the Pope, the holy man of the world, why would he enlist such a sadistic bloodline? Who is Pope Alexander the Sixth? Hmm. Pope Alexander the Sixth, aka Rodrigo de Borgia, of the <laughs> Borgia bloodline. Okay. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar? It's not like they changed the face of all history or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Where have I heard that name before? Doesn't he have a son named Cesar? <gasps> this Pope guy. Alexander VI is the father of white Jesus. Lord. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> he don't win. Uh, do Jan, why do you think we exist? We believe that this is um, 
Matrix. This Matrix bullshit my wife believe. Why you saying the same shit this nigga said? And well done. It, it, it's Scared the reason that everything sometimes. fits together. Like, it would be enough if there was... Do you just, believe in other lives? You lived other lives? I, I know that the whatever is in our body, whatever that weighs, I know that when it leaves here, it still weighs that in the universe. Mm. So it's somewhere. It came to you. I heard, I have, I said her, trying to say have and heard at the same time. That's a conspiracy. But um, I have heard though, when people die, that they do lose weight. Like it is like a, it's a minimal weight, but almost saying like when they pass away, like they soul actually leave their body, meaning that they lose a little bit of weight when they die. Look that up. Look that up. Shit. Help me in the comments. From somebody. Yes. Wow, right? It came to yeah. you from somebody when it leaves you, it's going to go someone else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's the reason that when you're young, there's a lot of things that you learn that nobody taught you at all. You just... This whole world is just one big school. Mm -hmm. One big school. He looking like, when what we the die, We're not going to know as much as we die, but even as much as we left. You know, we don't know anything. Only thing we know is what they told us in those books. Right. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Whatever right. it is. Mm -hmm. That's you know how you shit. know that there's truth in the in the history, though. Because um, we're now in a place now in um, in history where we, we're able to, to know more about the universe than ever. Like, we've been to places now. You know what I mean? We we've been to all these planets and we've, we've had these experiences unlike anybody else in history. But the problem is that whatever they said about the planets 6,000 years ago, bullshit. no, it was all true. Mm -hmm. And we are just now finding out. So the question is, how the fuck did they know? Ooh. Why did they say Mars was the red planet before they got there and explained Ooh. to us that that's what it was like and what the environment was? How did they know about the rings wow. on that planet? And why were they correct about it? And if they're that correct, what were... I'm saying... Like I said, who are we? How did, how, who's our ancestor? Um, since the, when it first started, how did my ancestor look? My million's ancestor. Wow, I can't even say a million ain't nothing. A million years ain't shit compared to time. Mm. Trillion. Right. Who's my trillion? Ooh, life is a bitch, huh? Right. There's no time. We made time. That's real. It's really eternity. That's something I truly believe in. I don't care what nobody say. Time is a made-up thing. It's a construct. That's something I believe in personally. Y'all can let me know in the comments what you think about it, but... You can think it's different calendars. We got the calendar we in over here in America. They got the Gregorian cal calendar, if I'm not mistaken, which is like what's in Ethiopia is supposed to be like the original calendar. You know what I mean? And it's not even, it's a whole nother year over there. So it's just like, and then I think like they added on a month here and it's just, I don't know, man. It's daylight saving times when they, all right, we're just going to push up an hour. All right, we're going to take away an hour now. Like, what's going on? How can we just manipulate time like that? And I know where it stems from in regards to the time moving forward and back from farming and all that stuff. But come on, we can just take an hour away and give an hour. I don't know. That's what you were saying when you said the 365 days. So before somebody called it that, right? then how old were you? Like, how were you measuring Julius Caesar, your Before Julius Caesar said, hey, motherfucker, this is going to be one year because I can't take right. this shit. So we, it's no such thing as time. It's eternity, and we turn it into time. Mm. I thought when I was real young, I thought if you was a great, great man, you generally died around 25 or 26. Well, so I had planned my life according to that. And I got into this thing about six or seven years old where I was like, yeah, every seven years, that's almost like a new you. And so I've mm. kept that model going my entire life. So, you know, I've, you know, I've lived seven whole existences that wow. were separate wow. from the one before it, wow. taking what it takes from it. But wow. yeah. They getting high. They you talking that, that shit. Right there, all that shit, man. You know, um, <laughs> when you, you do that, you know, it's the way it is. Hmm. Damn. You know his name's not Jesus, right? If you go back to where Jesus was walking the earth and you walked around and said, where's Jesus? Nobody would know who the fuck you're talking about. If you start looking deep into the scriptures, man, one of them says, my children 
will know my name. Well, his name ain't Jesus. You know, the scripture says, seek and ye shall find. Listening to a pastor tell you something isn't seeking. Why am Ooh. I so big on the name? Oh, oh, listening to a pastor tell you something is not seeking. Oh, drop a bomb. Where my bomb at? That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Oh man, that's a gem right there. Listening to the pastor is not ye, you seeking or ye seeking. Come on now. Because if you look at certain scripture, it says, give praise to my name, give glory to my name. What's his name? Mm. This is Jesus. That's not his name. So everyone says it doesn't really matter. He just, as long as he knows. Look, mm. I didn't read the part in the scripture that said that. I didn't read that part. I didn't read the part, hey, call me whatever you want. Just call me. Because his name mm. was given to us over 7,000 times. But then at some point in time, way back in about 383 AD, they translated it and, and they were told not to use the name anymore. Wow. One of the Ten Commandments is, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Right. Now, what does the word vain mean? It means to make meaningless or useless. How much more useless can a name be if you just stopped using it? You're making wow. it as useless as it can be by mm. not using his name. And he says, don't take the Lord's name in vain, which most people think says, don't say God damn. Right. God damn is it, first of all, God ain't his name. That's mm. a title. Secondly, that's not what it means. It says, don't make God meaningless and useless. But that's not actually what the, the thing said. He basically said, don't make my name meaningless. That was his commandment. Mm. And then we are all doing it when we say Jesus. We're all doing it when we say God. Why? Because it's not, Thoughts. that's not his name. Imagine going up to the pearly gates, because I could have just saved all your lives. And there's a big dude up there like this. He's standing there all big and buff as shit. And he goes, what's up? You say, what's up? They say, who are you here to see? You say, Jesus. And he goes, <laughs> and he goes, I don't know who you're talking about. You ever read the scripture where he says, go away, you do not know me? Because if you knew me, you'd know my name. <clears throat> I'm going to walk up. They're going to be like, who are you here to see? And I'm going to say, I'm here to see Yahshua. Mm. My man Yahshua is supposed to meet me here so I can go meet Yahuwah or Yahweh. Mm. And if I'm wrong, we're all fucked. Wow. Do you know why Prince... The famous rock star that was a friend of mine. Do you know why he called himself the artist when he came back? He calls himself the artist because that's what they call us in our contracts. Oh, these contracts are crazy. You should hear the terminology they say in these contracts. To use your name and likeness and perpetuity throughout yep. the universe. Yep. Who the fuck could possibly know what that means? the universe nobody does do you agree with what he is saying could there be a darker side to these contracts that these artists sign or is dave chappelle making it up TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only of course there's a darker side what do you think it's so complicated in fact that when you're a kid like me you have to hire somebody to tell you what that means and you sit down at a table and you do the contract game and that's how i got with comedy central I signed the contract, but I signed the contract the way that a 28 year old expecting father that was broke signs a contract. Mm. I was desperate. I needed a way out and it wasn't good they money and it wasn't that. good circumstances, but uh, what else am I going to do? I said, and all these white people sitting at that table told me, trust this, Dave, it's a good contract. And I looked around the table and they all seemed to agree it was a good contract. But what if? Mm. What if it was like that game of three card Monty? What if they were all friends and I didn't know it? Mm -mm -mm. They feed off desperation. That's a fact. I don't even have nothing to say anymore, y'all. Y'all are literally exposing the f out of this country. It's so many videos down my timeline talking about this ban, these arrests, government cover ups, these laws. Y'all just doing all the work. Let's give a round of applause to America, please. I'm so proud of y'all. Like, is everybody gonna quit their jobs and stop paying rent? I'm seeing so many people <laughs> like ready for this.
This is just the most beautiful time in, a, in America. So many of our governmental officials are being exposed. Like it's been so hard to reason with millennials. Mm. I'm actually seeing millennials wake up. Ah, Y'all ready? Cause I'm tired of this. <laughs> Why am I paying for water? Like, mm. I'm just gonna give y'all a round of applause one more time. Good job, good job. They're literally over here in the media putting out that we should be afraid and we need to be scared and get get gold and all this stuff. Like y'all just like, I don't care. I'm not finna stress about nothing. They talking about World War III with these countries and y'all not phased or feeding into these scare tactics. What? Mm. True history is actually coming out. Keep it up. I'm so proud of y'all. Wow, she said y'all ain't about to pay rent and quit your jobs next. Wake up and begging you guys. Remember when I say these words? Everything in this video is just pure coincidence. Okay. Just coincidence. Okay. Let's see. It's not fact, it's just coincidence. Okay. Here you go. Did you know Oprah Winfrey has been securing Maui land like it's a trending bestseller? In just 2023, she invested in a vast 520-acre plot for $3.89 million, then went for another 330 acres at $2.47 million, hey. not to mention the two 10-acre patches she bought in 2022 for $100,000 each. From a mere 100 acres in Maui, Oprah now commands over 1,000 acres. But here's the twist. Amidst this real estate surge, a sudden fire happens, destroying homes nearby but leaving her vast what? terrains unscathed does what? that ring a bell think back to 2017 a deadly fire consumed homes near her montecito mansion yet once again oprah's property emerged untouched and what? after that event she expanded her montecito land holdings to a whopping 70 acres even snapping up a four acre complex in 2019 which was decimated by mudslides shortly after the 2017 fire the what? connections the acquisitions and the timing are definitely food for thought. Just mm, wow. What a kawinky dinky dink. Wow. 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 Now this man's a definition of woke. Got into the habit of buying junk fast foods that have no actual food in them. I like we buy this guy. gallons of poisonous household cleaners when one degradable soft soap will do. Mm. We are poisoning our homes and wasting our hard-earned money for no good reason. Why? That's real. They just want you to buy stuff. If you don't want food with chemicals or GMOs in it, then don't buy it. Mm. The minute we start taking responsibility and spending our money wisely. The minute we start taking responsibility, that's key. Take responsibility, man. Just don't go with the flow. You take responsibility of your life, man. Come on. Yeah. Every politician, every corporation and leader around the world is going to know that we have woken up. The last people I would trust with my health is big pharma and big government yep. because mm. neither one of those strike me as caring entities. They're, They're all knows. about profit. Exactly. They're all about profit. What does mm. the government actually do to help? When a superpower with all this military might attacks just unprovoked attacks uh like like you know iraq uh i'm sorry afghan i'm, I'm sorry Viet wow <laughs> wow i'm oh, sorry ukraine uh Jeez. terrible you lure them in with humor then you make them think the biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and mm. force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep wow. taking them over and over. Wow. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea of being forced to do drugs? I do that voluntarily all day long. He woke, though. I done seen some videos on him. What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? Oh boy, do I have one for you. I believe that ancient civilizations were actually more advanced than we are today. I and agree. the reason why we don't have any hard physical evidence of it is because they lived in accordance with the earth. Mm. They didn't produce any non-biodegradable waste. Their mm. science was based off of what was already provided by the earth and they were much more consciously aware. Mm. But the biggest part of the conspiracy is, is I think that the people in power right now uh, they know this and they won't I tell agree. the public because then we'll start living like these ancient civilizations did and the system at which these powerful people gain more power 
will crumble. I agree with that a hundred percent. A hundred. I'm sorry. Scientists just did what? They created the matrix. What do you mean they just created the matrix? Wait, the matrix is real? Oh, hell yeah, bitch. And they're not playing this time. So you know that game Pong, right? The one where like you have to make sure that the little dot doesn't fly off out mm -hmm. into space somewhere. You have to use your paddle yeah. going up and down to make sure that that shit doesn't move right well scientists just took a bunch of human brain cells put them on some electrodes and made them play pong and girl it only took them five minutes to figure out how to play and let me tell you something what once they figured out how to play that's when the news was revealed they weren't what? just playing a game of pong they believe they're the paddle these human brain cells are actually in a matrix believing that they are the paddle that, that mm. hits the dot. They think that they're the paddle. Just like they're outside the game, playing the game, but they don't know they're outside the game, playing Ooh. the game, you know? I was already in an existential crisis. I didn't need this on top of it Ooh. because bitch, what if that's what we're doing right now? Ooh. What if that's what's going on right now? We're outside of this game somewhere playing this game. It's just a mm. game. And all our family and friends are like, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You're stuck in the game. And we're like stuck in this matrix. And wow. I'm, I'm done. This is it. That's okay. The matrix is real. Everybody. Wow. That's it. We're done. The matrix is real. Congratulations. You live in a matrix. If that's real, that is crazy. To wow, tricks. Wow, wow. Hey, quit scrolling, quit scrolling. I gotta show you guys this content. TikTok is something else, boy. I tell you, what's Shung up? Chu, which is the CEO of TikTok. Is it true that you guys control the algorithms on what we see in United States, Belgium, Germany, France, Canada, whoever? Then what is being seen in China? Is that true? I'm gonna have to pay you a visit, bro. You just don't get it, it's quite clear. God's chosen people is here. Quit trying to deceive our people with all this nonsense. Mm. I'm about to show you guys the quick video of them exposing this information. But in the meantime, unfollow people that's not providing quality content. All they do is dance. All they do is talk about mm. their issues or relationship problems. Unfollow these people. They are mm. a complete distraction from what's really going on currently. Listen and pay attention. Peace, family. Talk. China. Do you know that China controls the algorithm of what you see? Do you know this? If you're in America and you open up TikTok, if you're in Britain and you open up TikTok, there is a specific algorithm to reach you that is not in China. If you're in China and you open up TikTok, what they, the Chinese government, wants you to receive as youth, as people using TikTok, are people who are doing good things, achievements, youth making social enterprise, youth becoming successful in math competitions, youth becoming master. I don't think people are, aren't aware of how the algorithm is being, you know, manipulated for sure. ...of karate, youth doing something with their are. life, and you are rewarded. That algorithm is that the Chinese government makes you see positive things for social development. Did you know Ooh. here and in the United States, Ooh. they, China, send you a different algorithm? Do you know what they send you? Ooh. All the nonsense that you see. They want you to see Ooh. girls dancing, boys and girls dancing with each other, pranks upon your parents, pranks upon people. How many pranks do you see? Yeah, wow. I'm not saying it's not funny. Some of them are downright hilarious. But if you want to destroy a nation, Ooh. destroy a generation, you make them in their mind be rewarded with the dopamine for thinking stupid things are good, thinking wow. that this is what you're supposed to grow up doing. A large... Bro, what? Yo, what? If you look at what's going on right now, you see how much stuff is getting super popular over here in America. Stupid gender wars, going back and forth, especially within the... the between men and women you know what i'm saying like the internal fights that they have you know what i mean it's crazy damn proportion of people grow up thinking that this is what life is about but in china they don't let their children think that Ooh. next time you open up tiktok or instagram or whatever and you see this understand that you are being played oh wee <laughs> get your ass
ass in here and sit down. What happened? Now imagine you a school bus driver. And you taking the kids home or you taking them to school or wherever you going. And all they little asses just poof. Disappear. No. Roll the footage. No. What? Right now. Hey, you forward, Facing forward, thank you. Ain't no way. Oh. Turn around. The boot bag's falling out the chair? No way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Is this real? Ain't no way. Is everybody okay? Yeah, they okay. Hell nah. Ain't no kids, kid. That can't be real. What you think? What do you tell the parents? Hey, they just vanished. Check the footage. We don't know what happened. They just left. Your best bet would just be don't even go back and clock in. Just run right. somewhere and hide. Because ain't nobody gonna believe this shit. You hear that, Cody? You in trouble. They gonna blame you. Mm. How did that footage get out? That can't be real though. How many of y'all heard that when you were younger, if you look into the sun, it might blind you. So don't look into the sun at all. Right. How many of us have never looked up at the sun and even tried it because we heard that? I tried. I know I was one of those people. There's a reason that they, when I talk about they, you have to understand that Satan runs the earth and all the information that's put out to the human population for uh, mass consumption is put out by Satan and his followers. And I'm not religious, I'm not, I'm not none of that shit, I'm not at all, I'm spiritual. But the truth just is what it is. When you look at who runs earth, or when you look at the Bible, Mind you, I did not know this until just recently, but in the Bible, they talk about how um, Satan was cast to hell, right? He was cast to hell to uh, be there forever, him and all his followers, right? Mm -hmm. In the Bible, it says Satan was cast unto the earth. It doesn't say hell. It says the earth. Right. The earth is hell. This is the place that mm -hmm. he was cast to. And when we come onto the earth, right, you're supposed to live a life. You're supposed to grow, you're supposed to learn, and you're supposed to ascend. You're supposed to, you're not supposed to keep reincarnating to earth over and over and over and over again and never remember your past lives. You're supposed to remember your past lives. But mm. what they do, we get here, right? And they get us confused and they get us distracted by all the shit that's going on. You talk basketball, football, baseball, uh, liquor, drugs, uh, movies. You know, uh, hmm. for men, it's the women. They distract you with the women. For the women, they distract you with the men. You see what I'm saying? It's a whole bunch of distractions, and we I don't agree. even know distractions why we're everywhere. here. But the point is to ascend. What is one of the main things that will help us ascend? Looking into the sun. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff that people do to increase or get into their spirituality. But the sun, looking into the sun, it accelerates everything. If you look into the sun one night, right? The most spiritual thing you could do is get in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did my man say look into the sun one night? I don't know where he at, but the sun don't come out at night where I'm at. What about you? Involved with your dreams, with your inner being. You look into the sun. Um during sunrise or sunset because okay. it's gonna be bright and it'll be uncomfortable your first time but you look into the sun one time that next morning guarantee you remember your dreams and remembering mm. your dreams is key because mm. that's how you remember your past lives Ooh. in all of your dreams right you're normally yourself you're in the body that you're in right now but in a dream about your past lives you're gonna be in a whole nother body you'll be in a whole nother vessel and you'll know the whole life story of that vessel. But first, you gotta start to remember your dreams. So look mm. into the sun, and every time you remember a dream, you have to write it down, and you'll start to- Have you ever remembered a dream? I, I remember dreams often. Like it's something that I've always been able to do. You know what I'm saying? And wake up, now I'll forget them if I don't write them down. So bruh, it's on, on something with that. 
wake up, if you remember it, write it down. You know what I'm saying? I have plenty of dreams, all type of dreams about all type of different stuff. But yeah, definitely write it down. To remember more and more and more. Celebrity exposing the Illuminati. Is that a gang sign? Have you, um... Oh, like you don't know what it is. You don't know what that is. I have no idea. Oh, you don't know. Jimmy Fallon doesn't know. David Letter. This dude, Jim Carrey, be on it. He be on it. Cameron doesn't know. We don't know. All the comics and show business don't know what this is. <laughs> right? Yeah. What is it? Come on, Jimmy. Seriously. Jimmy. The time is up. People are hip mm. to this kind of stuff. I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. Mm. It is the secret symbol of the Luminati, and <laughs> you're a part of it, and it is a, the all-mocking tongue. Oh. They laughing and clapping for this shit. <laughs> it is a straight thing. You really think you were born to go through preschool, kindergarten, elementary school, middle school, high school, and college, all just to get a piece of paper that tells you you're qualified to do something by somebody who hasn't even done it themselves so that you can work inside of a machine is a cog without mm. actually taking control of your life, having ceilings set for you, and having to hit the floor, otherwise you're out of there doing a just over broke to pay for mm. bills, to pay for stupid things such as food that isn't even real, paying Ooh. for water that has fluoride and birth control in it. Wow. While walking into that same building every single day in something that keeps your feet separated from the earth, never Ooh. actually connecting to it. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Where we at? This dude right here, he said walking with stuff on your feet that you can't even be connected to the ground, shoes. Get into grounding. Put your feet on the ground. Feel that magnetic. Man, come on. Oh, this guy. Let's go, man. What are you talking about? You think that's how you're meant to live? That's not natural. Mm. Do the exact opposite of what everybody else does and you'll have a mm. good life. Hey, what's going on? It's oh, me back. again. You know what time it is. Quick question. What's Can up? we stop celebrating New Year's in the middle of winter? First, we don't need calendars to tell us when the new year begins. The new year begins whenever the first seeds bear the first fruit and flowers. Second, King Numa Pompilius, or Emperor of Rome. Rome again. Is the grandfather <laughs> of the Gregorian calendar that we still Gregorian. follow to this day. And he only added January yeah. and February so that we could align our calendars with the lunar year because that's how they worshipped. Three, we all watching this video probably speak basic latin basic spanish we understand octo ocho octopus octagon mean eight we understand nueve nove noventa mean nine nine and ninety we understand ds dec decimal decagon mean ten if octo nove and dec mean eight nine and ten then why are october november and december our 10th 11th and 12th months they shifted three Ooh. you understand so if we shift three from December, that's January, February, March, meaning March, the beginning of spring, i.e. when the first seeds bear the first fruit and flowers is when the new year really begins. Mm. You understand? And it goes on to say that if we start from March, let's count March, April, May, June, July is the fifth month. August is the sixth month. September is the seventh month again. October is the eighth month again. November wow. is the ninth month again. And December is the tenth month again, ending the year and starting back over in March. The thing that we don't understand is that all of our days do not have the same time. All of our days are not the same length or not mm. the same duration. Right. This is why the summer solstice is not the same day every year. There is not the same amount of time in every year. There's not the same amount of time Ooh. in every day. This is a provable fact. Which is why June 29th this year, during the summer solstice, we had the shortest day ever in recorded history, right after we had three supermoons and two eclipses, but right before they fought the Large Hadron Particle Collider. They want us to be giving our New Year's affirmations during the time of Nimrod's birthday, or the celebrations of Saturnalia and Marduk, which are Babylonian practices, so that we can misappropriate our vibrations. We're Ooh. supposed to be giving our New Year's affirmations and manifestational vibrations when the earth is giving the vibration to create life in spring when we bear fruit. Do we understand these things? And I love you, so I'm gonna tell you the truth. 
So can we please stop wasting these New Year's affirmations? Can we please stop wasting this manifest? I'm with him on this one. Now, the whole slavery thing didn't exist thing. He kind of lost me, but he, he making sense right here. Festational energy. Can we please stop even giving this Christmas thing a shot? But that's a whole nother question. That's a whole nother video. But at the same time, I love y'all today. I don't know if anybody today. told you today, but I love you. I love you. I love you first. And if I did love you first, then I'm up one. So with everything that's been said, I love you. I love you. And I love you. Unconditional love, infinite light, always connect all things. And I'll talk to you soon. Respect, bro. Respect. Shifted from using the term mother to birthing people. Black mm -hmm. birthing people. Black birthing people. Black and indigenous birthing people. Is the administration's birthing official people. policy to replace the term woman with birthing people? I, I was a little taken back when I just read it and saw it. That it's that Any woman watching this, because I know it's a lot of stuff going on in the world of women when it comes to politics and all that, and names and what they call a vagina and all that. How do y'all feel about, I want the women to comment on this one. How do y'all feel about this? birthing people or women let me know in the comments i'm not a woman but let me know i want to see the comments of the women that watch this tell me what that tell me how y'all feeling the, the term mother was gone in spots and it was replaced with birthing people again if we're, if we're trying to be precise in, in the language that's used mom's a pretty good word everything that's worth living and dying for is under attack right now Let's make this clear. TikTok, this is fake news. This is just my hypothetical thinking, opinion, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, Gitmo, there's just been a lot of theories about these politicians and celebrities being sent to Gitmo to be executed. So, do you guys remember during the COVID period when you saw a lot of celebrities and politicians spotted with ankle monitors? As you can see, Hillary is modeling her ankle monitor. Mm. And we also can't forget about the infamous Ellen modeling her ankle monitor. But did you guys also remember during COVID when a lot of CEOs were stepping down? Yeah. Mm. Damn. That's a long ass list. Now that list goes on and on. So this list behind me, now if this is true, basically what I'm trying to get at in this video is if all these politicians and celebrities have been executed, then we've been literally looking at CGI and actors on TV. That's mm. it. They're gone. These people are gone. If this list is true. So TikTok, don't don't take this video down. So this is a list of people that was just executed or something? Bruce Willis? Woody Allen? Beyonce? But hold on. But before this video ends, let's go down memory lane on George Bush Sr.'s funeral. Okay. What is that? What does that mean? What is he saying happen? Fill me in on that, y'all. Fill me in on this one.
Chappelle. Chappelle was decapitated in front of us. They called him Pilot Boy because he had 19 pilots in Hollywood and everybody passed on him and said his show. What do you think of then it? Then when he out? made $500 million, yeah. they said even though his contract said he should get half of it, they said he made too much for the contract to be valid. So we'll offer you 10% of what you made. You mean he what? made 500 million and they offered him 50? Yes. And he said, what do you think my fans are gonna say mm. when they find out you offered me 10% of what I made you? And they mm. said, your fans will believe that you're a crazy crackhead by the time you get home. And my mm. nigga got on a flight in LA and by the time he got to Ohio, it was wow. so. Wow. Come on, cat. So nobody gonna talk about the fucking sinkhole that they found in Japan? Fuck yeah, we finna talk about that shit. So they found this sinkhole in China that was 192 meters deep. Damn. This dude named Chen Lexin, who led the expedition team all the way to the bottom of the sinkhole, which took them hours, by the way, said that when they got to the bottom, the grass was shoulder length high. Whoa. Now I'm six feet tall, but let's just say the average cave explorer was like 5'6 to 5'8. My God, that's still tall as fuck. Right. Large enough to hold the Washington Monument and the length of about three football fields long. <laughs> Bro, wow. this shit crazy. The most wow. interesting thing that we know so far is that they found prehistoric trees that were 130 feet tall, bro. Prehistoric. What? My nigga, that's old as fuck. Look, all I got to say is this is an amazing time to be alive because I've been uncovering stories like this left and right, and I know y'all have too. I don't think this is a coincidence. I think that God is orchestrating this shit. He uncovering all types of shit, man. Aliens finna come back. We finna find the city of Atlantis. I'm here for it. Damn, prehistoric tree. Look, Are you I know all everybody still think sleeping? everything is a conspiracy. Although I told y'all two years ago, I showed y'all the report where the CIA created the term uh, conspiracy theory for critical thinkers. Um, it is just a weaponized term, and it is not a conspiracy that there likely is a clone and clones and skin mask and Jamie Foxx might be the next one. It's not a conspiracy mm. that these things actually exist. So I'm just going to show you guys the difference between clones and skin masks that are going around because the world is a stage and everything is not what you think it is. Okay. Humans made to order. Mothers giving birth to themselves. Babies conceived just so their body parts can be transplanted. What? Come with me into the scary new world of cloning. The nightmarish stuff of science fiction has suddenly become a reality. Behind those walls, there are people with the technology, the ability, and the desire to genetically engineer human embryos, to be the first in the world to successfully clone a human being. Mm. Very pleased to announce that the ba first baby clone uh, is born. She was born yesterday at 11.55 uh, a.m in the country where she was born so this will not give you more details the about she the born. location she she's fine we call her eve Colin is a private company we founded that four years ago got the fundings to really have lab uh, last august and so now we have three scientists working uh, almost full time in a lab here in the United States with the major goal for us to, to produce a human embryo by human cloning. My first gen was born in Jersey. However, I was cloned by Clonate in Canada. What? The model number is 0112568 if anyone wants to see the registration in Clonate. Um, what? When I was cloned, they wiped a lot of memory. When I stole the documents before escaping, I read that the mother was Puerto Rican and the, uh, I guess the father is surrogate, you could say, was a, uh, the sperm donor was the Sicilian. What? What in the hell is going on, man? This shit is creepy, bro. Look at the faces. Mike Tyson? Oh, damn. I think you have my hair on the <laughs> Oh my god. My son, never looked at you. Sylvester Stallone. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. This stuff is always super creepy, man.
just me or what is this creature what that doesn't breathe and has fish gills or something weird? Bro, what in the world? Is this real footage? Is this real footage, bro? Now they say the truth is stranger than fiction. So share, duet, um, whatever before they take this down because they don't want y'all to know about clones and skin masks yet. But it's revelation time, so. That shit is crazy, though. Are you part of the Illuminati? Oh, shit. Now, yeah. Come on, Wiz. Come on, Wiz. Is that really the truth? No. <laughs> oh, he on a lie detector test. Final question. Question, guys. Is it just me or do shit seem really, really weird? What I mean by that is time is speeding up. It don't feel like it's 24 hours in a day anymore. Mm. Food tastes fake as fuck and the weather is crazy as all outdoors. In addition to that, it's like people walking around like zombies. Is it just me? Tap in. Mm. Things is kind of weird. Over 50% of the total population are clones. What? But see, we've been dealing with the what? science of cloning since the egypt and atlantis days so this is not new but a lot of people are just now finding out about this which really just shows you how far behind people really are and when you understand that the physical body is nothing more than a vessel for consciousness then you start to see reality differently back in ancient times when we were more spiritually advanced we had the ability to transfer our consciousness in and out of the body and in and out of dimensions wow. at will the wow. pharaohs used to actually lay in tombs for weeks and astral travel it's called suspended animation mm -hmm. where you're That's able true. to shut down your bodily functions which right. frees your consciousness from the body so that you can actually exist solely on the spiritual plane for wow. an extended period of time but what happened was over time this knowledge was lost and people became trapped within their physical bodies. Ooh. So fast forward to 2023, there are very few people who actually have this knowledge and science of how to do this. So there are literally certain beings who have this knowledge, who have the ability to go in and out of this dimension at will. Mm, I agree with that. I definitely agree that that's possible for sure. It honestly blows Whoa. my mind how nobody is talking about this watch this video pay attention closely to this man right here if you can even call him a man true that you want to fly commercials so that you can fly in luxury how much money did you pay for tyler perry's gulfstream jet for example well for example that's really none of your business but oh, shit. isn't it the business of your donors it's, wow your donor i paid <laughs> <laughs> the airplane that we have that i bought from tyler perry okay. and i didn't pay anywhere in tyler's one he made it. He made that airplane so cheap for me. I couldn't help but it look fly. crazy. I love you guys. Again, getting back to the comment. You said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. Whoa. What's up with him? I'm going to tell y'all what to do when somebody tells you thank you. Some of us may not even be aware that the phrases and words that we use have a big impact on our lives. I always say that, man. Be careful what you say. Be very mindful. A lot of people be joking even on themselves, man. Oh, I did some stupid stuff. or Oh, I'm stupid. I'll be like, watch how you talk to yourself. Oh, I'm just joking. I'm like, I get it. But watch how you talk to yourself. Even when you joke and talk positive over yourself. Take that. Take that because we are constantly spell casting. Words are spells. Everything is energy. Every word right. has a certain sound or vibration that it resonates with. When you use this phrase right here, you don't know what you are welcoming because sometimes people have spirits that they don't even know or are aware of that is lingering around them. When you mm. use this phrase, you're welcoming them in. I'm gonna give y'all different Ooh. examples of phrases that y'all can use when somebody tells you thank you. Instead of using this controversial term that everybody else uses, you can say, no problem. Don't mention it. 
Of course, just take note and be aware of the words that you use. Facts. I agree with that for sure. Hidden secrets in everyday things. Firstly, have you ever wondered why there's three different colors in toothpaste? Well, the white part whitens your teeth, the blue part gives you fresh breath, and the red part helps maintain healthy gums. Mm. Next, I think we can all agree that we would like more privacy while using the bathroom, but did you know the toilet stall gaps actually have a purpose? The dirty trick is they want to make you feel uncomfortable so that you can use the bathroom fast and quickly. Wow. Now, never put a Nintendo Switch game cartridge in your mouth Why because you it's said they have one of the worst tastes known to man. And this is because they're small and kids may eat them, so Nintendo decided to make them taste oh. horrible. Finally, have you ever noticed the numbers on ketchup packets? Well, they actually have a meaning. Believe it or not, but it displays the way they taste, with one being the sweetest and eight being the most sour. Wow, I did not know that. He dropping knowledge. Hollywood is a system. Come out here, you get an agent. Then a lot of them got a manager too. And then when you sign a contract with a Hollywood attorney, they 5% of your contract for the duration. So if you sign a five-year deal, they get 5% of your money for five years. And everybody falls into that deal, man, because they lock you in. And then what's crazy, what I found out was, it's not a lot of agents that's beating the bushes to procure you employment. They simply list you on their roster. And when somebody wants you, they go online, and your name is under this agency's roster, and they, and they call all these people now because they picked up the phone now they ass is in for 10 percent now when they come in for 10 percent then you want to go do the deal they pick up their phone and call their favorite lawyer who is they boy who they work in conjunction see we got the guy that's gonna cut your deal you so busy being happy to be on tv you say okay cool cause you don't have that lawyer normally and now right there you 15 percent of your money gone now if you real stupid you got a manager <laughs> well, who is this stupid? Here's some secrets and everyday items that you didn't know about. Have you ever wondered why door handles are made out of brass? Well, this is because this material prevents bacteria from spreading. If you take your lid off and place it right underneath, it makes a perfect coaster. This number on the back of lotion or- Why my man talk like that? Perfect coaster. Makeup is expiry date so you don't damage your skin. The different colors on the bottom of toothpaste tubes actually mean something. Blue means it's made from natural resources and medicines. Red means it's made from natural resources and some chemical compositions. Wow. But black means it's made from pure chemicals. Before oh. I show you the last one, I just found this app that scans your hands and tells you your future. All you gotta do is click the link in my bio if you wanna find out your future. And finally, gas pump hoses are attached by magnets so if you forget and drive away it won't go with you wow he, he dropped a sponsor in the video here are some secrets hidden in everyday things okay so in bed bath and beyond the towels you see stacked to the ceiling are actually only one towel placed against foam rollers wow. to give it the illusion of there being more wow. while captures may be annoying the data you provide is actually used by self-driving cars to apply to their recognition learning process the reason public transportation uses this abstract art on their seats is to distract you from the amount of dirt that's actually on there. Wow. Most people don't use this, but shopping carts are designed to have bags hung off the side, so you don't have to play Tetris packing everything on the inside and squishing your delicate items. Mm. Don't use this, but to skip every floor in an elevator, all you need to do is hold your desired floor and the closed door button, and you should directly be brought to your destination. Hell no. On most cars, if you hold the door unlock button down for about five seconds, the window should begin to roll down. And then finally, I didn't believe this until I tried it, but nine out of 10 times when you throw a pair of vans, it lands upright because of the disproportionate weight on its sole. Pretty cool, right? I guess, I mean, it ain't life changing. Three secrets that will never be revealed. Number three, the Coca-Cola recipe. Coca-Cola has been one of the most popular drinks in history, and its recipe is only known to two people at a time. Its exact what? recipe is so secretive that even Coke's employees don't know the exact details. Wow. It's kept behind a safe in Coca-Cola world. Number two, the tomb of Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan was one of the most influential and successful rulers of his time. He went on to live in his native Mongolia towards the end of his life. Anyone who attended his funeral was executed to keep the location a secret. What? No human alive today knows where he is buried. What? Number one, Area 51. Hold on, hold on. So they was executed, but who was the one that executed the people that knew that they was there? 
Conspiracy, what? A classified military base in Nevada, Area 51 was so secretive that CIA didn't even acknowledge its existence until 2013. Weird little green creatures have been spotted in the areas surrounding the place. What? It is rumored that USA nurtures aliens in the facility. The top three secrets that will never be revealed. Number three, Coca-Cola's secret recipe. Coca-Cola guards its original recipe like a treasure stored in a secure it. vault. An estimated seven to 15 individuals worldwide possess access to parts of the recipe, ensuring its confidentiality. The company reportedly holds over 100 different versions of the formula. Number two, 100. Vatican's archives. The Vatican's secret archives house an extensive collection of historical documents dating back over 12 centuries. Only a fraction, approximately Approximately 0.04% of its contents have been made available to the public. The rest, wow. encompassing around 35,000 volumes of manuscripts and texts, remain concealed. Before revealing the number one, remember to subscribe and like the video. Number one, that, Area 51's actual purpose. The true purpose of Area 51 remains hidden behind classified doors. Despite speculation about extraterrestrial studies, it predominantly houses experimental aircraft and cutting-edge military technology. Roughly 83% of the facility is dedicated to such top secret aeronautical research. And you, which one of these secrets you would like to know and why? Let me know in the comments. Shit's crazy, man. Secret messages hidden in popular logos. Lots of people think the Hyundai logo is just the first letter of the company, but it also symbolizes a client and a representative of the company shaking hands. The mm. Adidas logo has three stripes that form a triangle. This symbolizes a mountain which represents the challenges all athletes have to overcome day after day. The That's Toyota real. logo is actually a needle with a thread passing through it to represent their past because they used to make weaving machines. However, the individual parts of the logo also spell out the company's name. Wow. Wow, never knew that. Hidden secrets in everyday things. Number one, have you ever noticed that there are sometimes blank pages in books? Well, they are there for a reason. It's so that the book has an even number of pages. Oh. And this makes it more comfortable for you to hold. Number two, have you ever wondered why some milk cartons have- Little Kitty, she had over 700,000 followers. I mean, she was known as a visual influencer. So people would follow her because she was very visually pleasing to look at. She would post about fashion, makeup, lifestyle. I mean, she was very positive presence on the YouTuber. screen. In 2021, she posted a video that was very unlike all of her other videos. She seemed really, really serious. She looks visibly exhausted. She tells her viewers, this is probably my last video. Thank you all for your support. You guys know that I've been struggling with depression for a while. Every time you see me being happy, that's just what I want to show you guys, okay? But recently, I can't take it anymore. If you want to know the reason, please go watch my live stream. Over a million people saw this post. They immediately tuned into her live stream because they don't know what's going on. It's very cryptic. It seems dark and sinister. Like, what is she talking about? Right. She directs everyone to this live stream and she appears very out of it. She's smiling, but it doesn't feel genuine. She keeps zoning out in the live stream and she just seemed overall very unstable. She's hinting that she doesn't want to keep streaming any longer. People kept commenting things like, please just get some rest. End the stream, get some rest, take a break. We totally understand if you take a break. Little Kitty looked like she was waiting for someone to enter her stream. It was really weird. And then she can slowly be seen lifting a clear water bottle. So like one of those plastic water bottles, but it is filled with this dark colored liquid. It oh, looked weird. Shit. Okay, the liquid did not look like a normal beverage. It just didn't have the consistency of like a Dr. Pepper. It just looked strange. And she just kept drinking it in little sips. And every time she would just grimace, it didn't look tasty. She kept claiming it was Coca-Cola. The police would wow. later identify the liquid to be toxic for human life. Wow. She was drinking it on the stream. Wow. Yeah. A lot of comments were catching on. They were very worried. I mean, this coupled with her last post, it just felt very dangerous. It felt very, you know, Damn. I think people knew what she was trying to do. They were writing things like, please don't do anything stupid. Someone call the police. We love you. Please don't do this. You're young. What about your parents? Others said really callous, heartless things. Right. There were right. some accounts 
posting into this live. If you want to drink it, you should hurry up. Some people right. were encouraging her, egging her, saying, drink, drink, That's the drink, internet. drink. That's the internet for sure. She finished drinking the liquid, waved the empty bottle in front of the camera. She said it doesn't taste very good. The live ended, police and ambulances rushed to the scene, and soon news started circulating that little Kitty had died October oh. 15th of 2021. Wow. Rest in peace to her, man. Damn. The worst video. People don't know what people be going through behind the scenes, man. Like she said, she was on there being happy and stuff like that just to throw people off and stuff like that. But you don't know what people be going through, man. You don't know. On the dark web. Whoa. This guy explores an abandoned church in the middle of the night. While searching for his friend, he encountered something truly terrifying. Hello? Hello. Here they go with that shit. I would Hello? not be in there. I would not be in there. Hello? Whoa. He didn't see that? Hello? He didn't see that? <laughs> I got chills. Oh my God. When he turned the light to the right, he suddenly encountered an extremely spooky female ghost sitting in the middle of the church. Looking right at right him. after encountering the woman's ghost. The guy ignored his companion and ran away. Hell nah. The night before Ted Bundy's execution, he asked to have a sit down with his therapist. And just hours before he was to be executed, she figured out the seed moment that sprouted into the victim type that Ted Bundy would always choose. And mm. it proved that Ted Bundy had been a monster his entire life. Check this shit out. I got a call from his lawyer saying he wanted to meet with me before he was executed. Testing. Mm. He gave me permission to tape the conversation. January 23rd, 1989. I asked him, why did he ask to see me? And he said, I suppose you're more interested in me and what was going on in my head and how this developed. I was not fascinated by his uh, perversions. I was mm. far more interested in how he got the way he was. Whatever his motives for asking me to come to Stark and mine for coming, our four and a half hours together on the day before his execution mm. were riveting. Your sister, uh, did you ever kind of look at them while they were dressed in bathing? Because that, he said, was a curiosity. Yeah. Did you ever look in my teens? Well, this is uh, something I've never told anyone. I almost promised myself I never would. Like, you have to the tape recorder? Well, yeah. yeah. But when the it. tape recorder was off, Bundy told me that he had had an encounter with one of his sisters. Later, his mother told me that Bundy had told his sister that she should be careful because there was someone out in the world who was killing women who looked just like her. What? I am. Um, oh, you're so traumatized. It makes me want to cry. You dumb motherfucker. I loved you. I loved you. I loved you. Craigslist stories that should be wiped from our memory. Number three, Michelle Wilkins. Warning, this is a really dark case. On March 18th, 2015, Michelle Wilkins, who was seven months pregnant, responded to a Craigslist ad stating that they were selling baby clothes in Boulder County, Colorado. She okay. arrived at Danelle Lane's home where they talked about her pregnancy, and a little later on, Danelle lured her down to her basement, claiming that is where the baby clothes were. On their way down, that is when Danelle attacked her. Get her up there with the lava lamp, which broke in a stick glass. She took a piece of the lava lamp, shot the neck with it, and as it was flirting from Michelle's neck, Whoa. she choked her, pushed her down on the bed, held a pillow over her until she was unconscious, cut Aurora, the baby out. Aurora by then was and carried Aurora upstairs and laid her dead. What? In the bathtub. 
To everyone's shock, Michelle did survive this brutal attack, what? however, her baby did not. Danelle, with tears filling her eyes, was sentenced to 100 years in prison, and honestly, that is exactly what she deserves. Whoa. Whoa, how did she survive that? This has to be one of the scariest videos I've ever seen. No the ghosts, hell? no spirits, real life. A young female real estate photographer was taking photos for her job one day. She happened to be in an occupied house. The resident began following her around. She says this wasn't unusual, so she didn't think anything of it until she started noticing multiple locks on certain doors oh, and even a camera pointed shit. toward one of these doors. When she goes upstairs, a man comes out of one of the rooms. What happens next is straight out of a horror film. You have to see the video for yourself. Okay, Whoa. so I took pictures of this house um, and this guy was following me around like the whole time what um which isn't unusual but he was a little bit strange and there was like six people living in this house and it's a hoarder house but i also it's noticed they have like three locks on the door and then down here they have locks and then going up here they have a camera and it's facing this door Anyway, a roommate comes out of this door and he asks them if he should lock the door and kidnap me. What? And I said, immediately, people know where I am. And then he laughed and said, no one would ever hear from you again. Bro, what? I did not even finish this f***ing house. I immediately left. I was like, Absolutely. nope, dipped, dipped the f***ing out um, hell no you can see me right there hello but yeah pretty sure i maybe almost got kidnapped but i don't i don't really know if you're hell a woman no. and you've ever had any close calls like this let me know in the comments below we need to spread awareness that things like this really happen jeez mm -mm. so this story happened in mexico oh, and it actually gosh. happened to my uncle they found my uncle dead in like the woods tech Oh, and what happened was is that he used to get drunk a lot. He would always go with my my other uncles and stuff. They would walk from like spot to spot or whatever, right? They were saying that they literally saw a beautiful woman telling them to follow her. Well, like spooked them out is they literally saw that she was floating, so they dipped. So this one time, I think he went by himself to go drink, yeah, to go do what he regularly Float. does, but he never came back home. So they went looking for him, and then they said that they found him like out in the campo type shit like just laying on the floor he had no injuries on him nah nothing bro nothing what they the said that he died from regular causes but why would he be just laying there on the floor and they're saying that maybe he saw it again but this time he actually followed her damn hell no nah, i ain't following if you're ever camping nobody. alone in the forest which is something that i started doing when i was young there if you ever hear animal I mean, sounds that are not quite right at night you get up and leave because if they're getting close to you and you don't want, they don't want you to hear human sounds, they'll start communicating in animal voices. And so, yeah, there's a few guys that were out there and uh, they started hearing like sounds that were just a little bit off. You know, you hear like a laughing falcon sound. And then he heard the, the capuchins from different areas. And usually capuchin monkeys are going to be all together in one spot. And he heard it from different directions. And he was just like, mm. he said he climbed into the river and crawled like a turtle out of that. He said he went for hours and just to escape. Jeez. I'm not out there camping in the woods by myself, I'm sorry. So this happened when I was 20 years old. I'm 22 now, so it's not that long ago. While in college, I was a babysitter during the week for a family, and sometimes I would nanny for this other, wealthier family on the weekends. They would go away often on the weekends and leave their two kids, so I would stay at the house for the weekend with the kids. They had a whole dedicated guest bedroom just for me, and the family was super nice, so it was honestly great while it lasted. It happened in the fall. The leaves were all falling and it was chilly outside. I had gotten to the house Friday and Friday night went completely fine. I just played with the two kids who I'll nickname James and Jessica. James was seven, Jessica was five. Okay. They were both cute and well behaved. Their bedtimes were 7.30 for Jessica and 8.30 for James. Okay. During the day I'd play with each of them with their toys. The family had two dedicated rooms for their toys. Damn. One for Jess, one for James. Jessica loved her dolls and doll houses. I spent a lot of time playing with her. James loved playing his video games, so I'd watch him play. These kids really had everything, and the house was gorgeous. It was a giant property with a big pond in the middle. It had a separate three-car garage, and then a pool with a pool house across the pond, 
which was also a bar and rec room Damn. with a pool table and darts, arcade games, and a giant TV and multiple sofas. Wow. This family was so well off and over the top that they even had an intercom that connected from the pool house to the actual house so that if you press a button on the wall in either place, it would ring and then you could talk through it. The pool house also had a giant window that overlooked the pond and had a view of the house. Okay. So after the kids went to bed, I was free to do as I pleased for the night. It was great. I wasn't supposed to have friends over though. That was a rule I respected. And he did. I would just FaceTime my friends and watch movies in the pool house to pass okay. the time. Okay. It was not a bad place to have free time in, I'll tell you that. I started getting hungry, so I walked back across the property to the house, entered the code to let myself in, and went to the kitchen. They had so many snacks and food that I was allowed to help myself to. I grabbed a frozen snack from the freezer and threw it in the microwave. And when I was done, I went back across the property to the pool house. I liked hanging out in there more because I could be louder on the phone and have the TV as loud as I want without waking the kids. Okay. I was on the couch eating, watching the movie White Chicks, while texting a bunch of my friends. Okay. I was just in the middle of telling my friends how great of a gig this was. When the intercom beeper gave me a heart attack, I went to go press the answer button and I heard Jessica's voice on the other end saying she's scared because she keeps hearing noises. Oh shit. Usually she'd sleep through the night, so I'd have to go tuck her back in. I set my food down and ran back across the yard to the house. I entered through the door with the code lock again and went to Jess's room. She must have ran straight back to her bed after we got off the intercom because she was already back in her bed all scared. Mm. I went to tickle her and tuck her in just so she wouldn't be scared anymore. When she felt better, I left her room, shut the door, and walked down the hall back to the kitchen to grab some wine. As I was looking for a wine opener, I heard the ever so lightest crack in the wood floor from another room. Oh. I froze and looked in that direction, instinctively waiting for a second sound. I didn't want to start freaking myself out now. I didn't want Jessica saying she's hearing noises to get in my head. Mm. I was thinking it was a regular house settling noise. I admit I was a little creeped out now, but I left the lights and TV on in the pool house, so I had to go back. I went outside, locked the door with the code, and Hell ran across nah. to the pool house. I sat back down on the couch and resumed eating the rest of my food. Hell I nah. didn't end up bringing the wine. I still had white chicks on, though I was mostly just getting distracted on my phone. Then that damn intercom went off again, making me jump in my seat. I hurried to answer it, and when I did, there was silence on the other end. Oh. Jessica, I said into the mic. I thought for sure I heard someone breathing, but that's all I could hear. I said both Jessica and James' names at least three times each. He should have stayed in the house. Now I was actually starting to become terrified. I called my friend Kelsey and told her I want her to come here because I'm actually getting really scared. I told her that the little girl I'm watching said that she was hearing noises, and then I heard a noise, and now someone pressed the intercom button but didn't say anything. Ghost. I felt like it was not something one of the kids would do. I was still on the phone with Kelsey, who was telling me to stop being paranoid, but she also sounded drunk. Oh, I was looking God. out the window to the house the whole time I was on the phone with Why her. Why he ain't going now? The hallway lights turned on. I told Kelsey this, and any ounce of possibility that it was one of the kids disappeared. When a large figure stepped into f oh, shit. This is why you should always take your lockdown drills seriously. In 2017, two 16 year olds were in their school bathroom when the lights suddenly went out and their school went into lockdown. Feeling mm. rebellious, they decide, you know what, let's go explore the school a little bit first and then we'll go follow procedure. They no. step out of the bathroom and look down the hall towards their classroom and they see this large figure standing in front of their classrooms. It's definitely not a student, it's not a teacher, he's got ragged clothes on and he starts walking towards them. They oh, dart shit. right back into the bathroom to the corner stall where they hide, praying that that man didn't see them. Mm. The man bursts in and starts yanking open all the stalls. Oh, not shit. wanting to see what happens when he gets to their stall, they get on the ground and start crawling to the side of the room where they finally get up and make a run for the door. They look back and he's holding a gun. The boys Ooh. manage to get away safely and no one's hurt, but the police never capture the ragged man. Oh no. 
A child who was missing since 2019 has been found alive under a staircase. What? Four-year-old Paisley Schultes was removed from custody of her biological parents along with her sister. Although it's not been revealed as to why, her parents Kim Cooper and Kirk Schultes were no longer legally allowed to look after the girls. In July 2019, Paisley what? vanished from her family home while her older sister was at school. She'd been living near Ithaca, New York. Although police strongly suspected her biological parents, they had absolutely no proof. Police Damn. were actually able to search the parents' property. They denied having anything to do with this and the police could not find the girl inside the house. Years later, however, in 2022, police received a tip-off that the little girl may be in the house after all. Although what? at first it seemed that nothing was off about the property, after about an hour, one of the detectives realized something odd about the stairs. Acting on gut instinct, they looked a little closer and eventually found a small hiding place. When they were able to get a little closer, they found Paisley hiding in the small space. What? The couple were charged with custodial interference and endangering the welfare of a child. Whoa. When people ask about the craziest case we've ever covered, this is the one that immediately comes to mind. 2012, Carrie Farver started dating a man named Dave Krupa. Relationship okay. remained very mutually casual, and then in November of 2013, Carrie asked Dave if she could stay at his house for a few days because it was much closer to a conference she was attending for work. Carrie left for the conference on the first day, and four hours later, Dave received a text from her asking if he wanted to move in together. When Dave mm. responded that he wasn't ready for that, Carrie sent a string of very aggressive texts telling him oh. they were over. The next day, Carrie's mother received a text that Carrie was quitting her job and moving to Kansas City, which Carrie's son, Max, confirmed had been something she had been talking about. Mm. Carrie's family didn't get too concerned until she mentioned that she had broken up with Dave and was considering checking herself into a mental hospital because oh. Carrie had struggled with bipolar in the past. And so at that point, her mother reached out to police for help. Police okay. spoke to Dave, who said that Carrie had continued to send him very aggressive texts, including one that threatened his ex-girlfriend, Liz Gallagher. Mm. Carrie continued to send harassing messages to Dave and Liz up to 50 or 60 a day. Wow. And these messages escalated to the point that they included photos and videos of the inside of both of their homes. Dave and what? Liz spent so much time together discussing Carrie's harassment that they eventually started dating again. Soon after, someone burned Liz's house down as she was moving out of it, and Carrie sent Dave a message saying, I'm not lying. I set that nasty on fire. I hope Whoa. the and her kids pass away in it. What? She sent Liz a message saying, I hope you and your kids burn to death. Carrie's wow. family continued to plead with her to come home, but she said she'd moved in with a new boyfriend and was trying to get back on her feet after she'd suffered a mental breakdown. Jeez. Meanwhile, she stalked and harassed Dave to the point that she started threatening to take the lives of his children, what? which led him to buy a gun to protect himself. This went on for three years, and eventually three. Dave and Liz's relationship started to cool off and they broke up again. And one day, Liz showed up at the police station to file a report against Dave's ex and the mother of his children, a woman named Amy. This mm. claimed that Amy had been stalking and harassing her through Facebook and that someone had stolen Dave's gun recently and wondered if maybe they'd had it wrong all along and it hadn't been Carrie that had been stalking them, it had been Amy. The very mm. next day, Liz said that Amy came up to her as she was sitting in a park, attacked her, got her on the ground, and shot her in the leg. Whoa. Amy had an alibi for the time of the shooting, and police had also taken a fresh look at the case and found some very suspicious photos on Liz's phone, including one of Carrie's SUV with a timestamp of 2012, which was right before she went missing, and mm. also some photos that had been sent to Dave from Carrie. Then brought in an IT expert who oh. found dozens of of email addresses, Facebook accounts, and apps that were all linked back to Liz, and they were able to link back every single harassing message to Liz's IP address. Ooh. Liz then pretended to believe Liz that everything she was saying about Amy was true and used this as a cover to get tons of information out of Liz about what exactly had happened to Carrie Farver. Mm. In the end, they learned that Liz had taken Carrie's life in Carrie's SUV on the morning that Whoa. she left Dave's house to go to the conference. She then assumed Carrie's identity and used it to harass herself and Dave for years in an attempt to get back together with Dave. What? Liz was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. 
I struggle to think of any other cases that are as diabolical as that, but I'm dying to know if you know of any others. Whoa. All right, so that was scary, creepy, true TikToks, conspiracy, all of that in the one. That was crazy. If you made it to the end of this one, you a real one for real, and I need you to drop real one for real. Also, hit that like button. Let me know, should we do more of these? This stuff is crazy. But until next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey, bye.